Straight talk, no sugar added today. No sugar added today. I'm about to have a conversation that, you know, hopefully does not apply to many. But I just have to have this conversation because I am damned mad about something. I'm damn mad about it. Trifling women and the men who go after them. So I know some of y'all saying, well, what about, you know, trifling men? I'm talking about trifling women right now because I have a situation where I sat on the phone recently with a friend of mine for 20 minutes crying about finding out concrete proof that her husband was having an affair. He was cheating on her. And I'm like, well, why cheat? Just, just like, just leave, like, you know, just leave. And the reason why I say trifling women is because these women know without a shadow of a doubt that these men are married and they intentionally go after these men. But let me just tell you how dumb some men can be because some of these women only want you because of what it appears that you have at the present time. Because if you're married, there's like a joint, there are joint funds. So when she sees what you have, it's really what you both have. And so in this situation and in many situations, the women are looking at these men and saying, oh, I like what he has, I like what he drives, I like where, um, where he lives, I like the business that he's in, the industry that he's in, and they see you as like this big mogul. They see you as like, oh yeah, I can see myself with him because then I can have that. But no, you won't be able to have all of that because should the woman decide like, look, I'm not gonna be going through this, then you get half or nothing of what this man has. So what I wanna say is, if this, talking about trifling women, to the men, if this woman wants you so much and so bad, ask yourself if you would be stricken with a debilitating disease, you know, a mystery illness, something where you had to be taken care of, where you had to be fed, where someone has to wipe your ascot, give you a bath, give you medicine and get you to the doctor, would this woman still be there for you? Ask yourself that question, because the woman that you with, and I know this person is a good woman, she would do that for you. And just like it said in the Tyler Perry movie, like men will leave the 80% for the 20%. Like all that glitters is not gold. So I am damn mad about these trifling women and these men that go after them. And I'm, y'all, I am so mad about this. So I just want to say, evaluate your situation. If you're not happy, have a conversation. I agree that there are marriages that are salvageable. I know someone personally who had the same situation and their marriage was salvageable. Have a conversation, find out what's lacking, find out what's missing, find out what your partner is not doing and come to an agreement and do that. But if you're just completely, and to be disrespectful and be blatant and have it in their face, you know, these women, they looking for stuff. They looking for, you know, movie stars, musicians, politicians, big businessmen, because all they see are those dollar signs, but they don't realize there's somebody on the other side that gets per, per, a big percentage of those dollar signs. So yes, if I sound mad, it is because I am mad. And I just wanted to come on and have this conversation. This may not be for you, but it may be somebody that you know. Like share the video, have a conversation, and you may be the trifling woman. And let me just say, we use the word trifling without the full definition of it. I'm just going to say this is a person that feel, has little value of themselves because they don't feel like they can get their own. So they have to go after someone else's because you don't have to work that hard when you're going after somebody else because that person's already looking for something. And they find that one or two percent in you. And now they just like enamored with one or two percent. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> let me woosah because I'm a little upset about this, y'all. So I just wanted to come on and have this conversation and make this statement because I think that I had a very good conversation with my friend yesterday and I'm hoping to you know, get a chance to talk to her today. Um, but I just need to have this conversation because I felt like more than that person needed to hear what I had to say. So I'm just sharing with you all the world. You can share it with whoever. And if you are either one of those persons, the trifling woman and the men who engage them, rethink it reevaluate your marriage. You probably have a very good woman that you're just misunderstanding. That's all it is. It's a misunderstanding at times. And I ain't here to get into all the psychology of all of it. Like, this is the conversation I'm having today. There are many other conversations that can be had around this, but this is the conversation I'm having about this matter today. So 
trifling women and the men who go after them, y'all need to get y'all lives together. God don't like it. It's ugly. God don't like it. And he's watching. He's watching. Y'all have a good one. It's your girl, Miss Straight Talk. No sugar added. There was no sugar even in the room for this video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.